Hey guys, we're back for another video and welcome to Minecraft Survival Island with Antony! What's up? And I'm in the end because I had to show Antony the size of a beacon. I'm gonna teleport back to him. Ah! So in the- Oh! You're in here. So in the last episode, we were working on the new farms. Yep. Oh, and I've played Bed Wars since then, so I have to switch my controls back. Get rid of this stupid auto jump. Don't you hate that, where you change versions and it just resets your settings? Forget yeah, anymore. I don't know why it does that. Anyway, um, yeah, so we have a lot of work to do. Most of what we've done so far has basically just been structuring the farms. Yep. But I think starting today, as of today the recording day, we are going to start actually making it functional. Yep. So we have three farms so far. We have the, uh, the tree farm over here with all these birch trees. And then if you go over here, we have the um, the mushroom station, mushroom stew station. Oh, you put pillars around it. Yeah. I like that, okay. And then over here, we have a snow farm station. <laughs> okay. Snow Uses farm. both snow farm station. But yes, we have that as well. Also, this freaking blue ice took a lot of crafting. That takes just four pieces of this stuff is over a st like two stacks of uh, regular ice. It's freaking annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's annoying. Uh, anyway, yeah, we have a whole bunch of other platforms that are uh, yet to be used. We have the ocean-based farms, which are going to go over here. We have uh, the tall mushroom farm. I think this should be the next one I do. There's only one kind of mushroom farm that's not from a mushroom, right? Yeah. And it's really just the big mushrooms, and it's mostly aesthetic. It's not even, like, necessary. Right. Right. So I'm going to have to style this one a little differently because the mycelium is going to have to be able to spread. Oh, I have Optifine on, so dynamic lighting. But um, we're going to need to be careful with the mycelium because when you plant a big mushroom, it kills the mycelium. Yep. Also, that stupid crafting achievement thing is in the way. I want to get rid of those stupid achievements thing. Craft wooden planks, sure. Wait, what the hell? That actually does something? Whoa! Hey, Anthony. Mm. You can craft oak wood bark blocks. Do you know that? No. Try putting four oak logs in a crafting table. Oh, does that just make it like the whole block is a uh, yeah. bark? I didn't know about that. I think what I'm just going to do is I'm going to get rid of this. <laughs> and I'm just going to have torches on <laughs> the... Um... Uh, our storage is so broken. <laughs> Come here for a second. Oh, God. I don't know if I want to look. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to light up this platform. I'll be right there. How broken is it? Ooh, that one chest is uh, not good. <laughs> look at the quartz chest. Oh. <laughs> and it's filling up with bone meal right now. Um, okay. That's no Gucci, man. That is no Gucci. No we are going to need I don't know how we going to... Mm, it's annoying how we how it keeps breaking on us. I wish there was a way to, like, convert it to be, um, you know, safe. Mm. Like, overflow proof. But I don't know if we could do that without redoing the whole thing. And I am not making another storage in this last fight. <laughs> Even though I've designed two other ones since we've made this one, it's not happening. There we go. So now if I grab some mushrooms, we should be able to start growing them. So that's an easy farm. <laughs> Done. Yep. Probably because it doesn't have any organization. We just kind of place mushrooms there. Well, I mean, try to find, like, spots to place them. You know what I mean? Like No, but we can't because um, the mycelium dies. So it has to be a different spot each time so that it has time to grow back. Let me see. Where are mushrooms in our storage, by the way? Is that like in the potion area? Uh, there and there. I don't know. 
Oh, it's food. That's right. Oh, hello. Okay, we have a lot of mushrooms, by the way. See, my is nice because we could just be like, bleep. Whoa. That is a lot taller than I thought it would be. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that nice? It is nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I could plant one of these in like the. No. 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 That's fine. Well, anyway, that's yeah. There we go. That's another farm done. If you want to label it. A mushroom farm. I think I have the signs there if you want to. Uh... Oh, and we have our chorus fruit farm. So I did some thinking about this, and even though, you know, I did already set up the spots and everything, I think I should try to make it more dense. Because mm -hmm. it is Survival Island, after all. Yep. So we're going to need some, um, whatever it's called, end stone, and... What is this stuff called? Purper blocks. There we go. So, endstone and purper. And we should be Gucci. Look how many people are online, man. Holy wow. crap. Subiocraft is, uh, it's popping. And we haven't even started uploading the videos yet. That's a good sign. <laughs> that is good. How many people do you think are going to log into Subio? Like, what do you think the peak concurrent players will be after the first episode of Survival Island? In this new like recording session, yeah. How many people? A peak. The peak people. I'm gonna guess 25. I was gonna say 30. Really? Yeah. That would be freaking neat. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, the server's maximum is a thousand, so <laughs> huh? we got room. So don't you people worry about that. MC Pro Hosting is an amazing hosting service they supply some very good stuff hashtag not sponsored but like still <laughs> yeah good stuff actually i think we're gonna use mc pro hosting when we hop over to hightail okay because they are very reliable and i wouldn't say cheap but it makes sense for me as a content creator because you know i got them connections mm-hmm so, like, they'll hook me up. <laughs> right. So, it just makes sense if that's what I'm doing. So, here's what I'm going to do with the chorus fruit. I'm going to make it a grid. Okay. So, it will be every other block will be a chorus flower. So, I think that's a good amount. Okay. That works. And I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make it semi-auto. So, I'll put the pistons underneath like we did that one time. Mm-hmm. There we go. Yeah, this is going to be a nice one. And then what we're going to need is uh, some scaffolding to get on top. Because, you know, the way you have to harvest these is really weird. Okay. Converting this into a grid is so weird. Also, might I add that the Hytale content has been nuts? Just to let you guys know, right? The channel has never gotten 40,000 views in two days before. <laughs> that is new. That's crazy. We might become celebrities soon, Antony. <laughs> 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 We're going to be YouTube famous. There we go. Hmm. Should I make the outer rim out of... Yes, I should. Just so it's blatantly obvious which uh, spots people are to put to the chorus fruit. Uh -huh. So, I didn't even tell you about my ideas for Subio, the server. It's going to be mm. called Subio minus the craft part. Because right. I tell. So, the game modes I'm hoping to have on there. One of which would be an RPG, like survival type game. Kind of like Fallout. Ooh. And, um... So yeah, the point of that is that you'll have experience and levels and perks and you'd have different character classes and like skills. 
So that'd be freaking neat. Because I, I think I've confirmed at this point that Hytale is not going to be like that. Beacon. Uh, do you know how to put this stuff in the beacon? The... Uh, I made it. I already made the beacons up on top. So you just got to upgrade it. Oh, okay. Which chest did you show me that was all screwed up? The slabs chest? Uh, the quartz chest. Quartz. Thank you, because I saw an item in there that I need. <laughs> mm -hmm. Popped quartz for... Gotta make some more purple blocks so I can make the barrier here. Anyway, this is gonna be an RPG type thing. With levels and skills and stuff. And then one of the things is gonna be Call of Duty in Minecraft. Ooh. It's gonna be called Block Shot. So, yeah. <laughs> Sounds interesting. <laughs> Sounds interesting. If you guys don't know, Anthony is a seasoned Call of Duty player. Man. Both yeah. of us are. Um, I'm guessing you started before me, actually. I did. My first game was World of War. No. Modern Warfare 1 was my first game. That was mine for uh, my, that was mine too, but Oh, okay. So, yeah, about so. That's when everyone's pretty much if you're a Call of Duty fan. Yeah, that's so when it's everything started. before that is just crap. That's not even Call of Duty. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> I don't know about crap, but it doesn't hold up to, you know. But yeah, so I think it'd be really neat if in, um, did I say in Minecraft or Hytale? <laughs> I think I accidentally said in Minecraft. In Hytale, there is going to be, um, oh, you know what I could do? This is, I just completely blew off my own thing that I was going to say. This is going to be an identical design to the cactus farm that Glenn designed all those years ago. Hmm. So that's going to be easy to make. It's just a bunch of repeaters. Anyway. Um, yeah, so there's going to be different, uh, again, classes. You can have custom classes, different weapons. That's why yesterday, Anthony, I was asking, like, what are all the different kinds of weapons in Call of Duty? Oh. I'm going to start designing ideas for weapons and stuff. I see. So, yeah, I'm hoping on day one of Hytale's release that that be a thing. Even if there's only, like, two different types of guns. Like, at least there'd be something. Right. That's the plan. Okay. Alright, so how is this going to work? We drop down here. There's going to be a... What do you put? You just put, like, emeralds, diamonds... What? Like, how do you use the beacon? How do you do a beacon? Oh, just put a, an iron ingot in it. And then select what you want, and it will do it for you. Okay. It's easy. Then all I gotta do is go below. And then it should just be as simple as putting a repeater. I have to go into the water now. What do we want at the farm? Speed? Um, if we're gonna have the cobble generator, we're probably gonna want haste. Actually, we'll have a fully automatic one at some point, probably. Uh, for now, speed too, I guess. That'd be fair. Should be useful. Okay. And the third game mode is planned to be... This is interesting. It'll be similar to um, Bed Wars. And it will be such a thing that, like, everybody's in space. And they're all trying to collect ores for, like, a mining operation, right? Mm -hmm. And um, that's what all the players are. So they spawn on these little islands. They're not islands. They're like little meteors. And then they're able to mine stuff from the meteor. And then they can go into their, um, their smeltery and be able to use those materials to make things. Like, um, for example, they'll be able to make weapons, armor, shields, things like that. And then the good stuff, the goodies, are going to be in a bigger meteor in the middle. So there's going to be like a sphere of player meteors on the edge of the map. But it's three-dimensional. So like some islands are going to be higher than others. 
and gravity will change depending on which like orb is nearest to you. So it'll be like Super Mario Galaxy if you've ever played that. Hmm. And people will fight for the stuff in the middle, and then the respawn mechanic will be handled by a cloning machine, which is on your spawning um, thing. And then if someone breaks a cloning machine, then you cannot respawn. Cool. So that's the idea. I think that'd be pretty freaking neat. So yeah, Subio. It will have a Hightail brother. Hmm. Well, I heard that. <laughs> freaking... I like how you called it a, a what did you call it a bird the first time? Yeah. That was funny. The stupid bird. <laughs> I wonder if that's gonna be a thing in Hytale. How do you think they're gonna handle water? Do you think it'll be like source blocks and like rivers and or like flowing and stuff, or is it gonna be like limited? Like water is like a limited supply and like you use a bucket, you pick up that water and it's like gone. I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. It's an interesting thought. I would guess similar to Minecraft. I'm kind of secretly hoping, though, that water won't be infinite. And then it'll be like, you know. Mm -hmm. Like real water. Now I need repeaters, and then we should be gitchy. We should have another farm already. We're actually being pretty efficient with this. I'm starting to light up this place, putting redstone lamps down. So, Ooh. so we don't die? Yeah. Wait. It would be easier if I place the repeaters first. place the repeaters first then the blocks then the pistons then we should have a working farm thank you glenn for this design oh yeah he showed up in my live stream yesterday did he really yeah he's no longer going by the name green syntax now he's uh leo cloud i think he plans to do like music stuff hmm. which is interesting Cool. Shout out to Glenn for those all of you OG fans out there. Alright, so that should be enough. Yeah, I really hope though that he starts uploading on that channel with like music stuff. That'd be neat. Because you said you see his, like, um, Instagram stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Instagram. I think, you think that'd be good on YouTube, like, if those were, like, little videos? I think so. It's really good. And if it's something, like, people can uh, test to, people can connect with. Yeah. Music's a whole different thing. It's... I am definitely not an experienced um, person in the realm of music. I mean, you of all people would know. I was the kid with the 32 gigabyte iPod touch with zero songs on it. Yeah, like, I mean, some people like, you know, like some people like rappers, and then they also listen to the lyrics. They also listen to what they say, and that's what it somehow connects them to their life, and that's how they listen to the music. That's how they like the music. So there's got to be a connection between the song and your life unless you're weirdo like me in which case you just like to listen to the instruments <laughs> that or i mean it could even be with the beats too some people just mentally i don't know like just listen to the beats and it kind of gives them a good vibe or whatever it just it's weird i don't know oh so a uh, slight problem antony <laughs> what 
the redstone for the uh, the farms here. It's visible what from uh, inside. Where are you? Are you down in the basement? No, teleport to me. <clears throat> See the Two buttons. Oh. <laughs> uh. I could fix that. Leave it. Okay. Should almost be done. Yeah. You know I'm getting flashbacks right now to Cocoa Beans. Nah. Because, like, if you look at the pattern in which I'm placing these pistons, it's like... This is what I was doing back when, um... That happened. <laughs> Except it was with the cactus farm. Back when I went freaking berserk. <laughs> and then I'm in Cocoa Beans. That's never gonna go away. <laughs> never. It happens at least once every live stream. <laughs> because that's one of the stream memes. Yeah. You know what also happens every stream? What? <laughs> You're in Rocket League. With the recent meme. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. To those of you that don't know, oh, it was good. It only happened on Twitch, though. That's the thing, right? It wasn't on YouTube. Yeah, it was Twitch. But it didn't make it any less funny. <laughs> Alright, this place is lit up. Nice. There's a really cringy joke to be had there, but I'm not going to say it. Why was that block? What? Okay. Almost done with the um, the chorus root farm. You like how I put the buttons in the floor, like right in front? Yeah. Nice and uh, simple. Yep. There we go. We should be fine now. I think I got all of them. Oh, except that one. All right. Now for the end stone, then the lighting, and then we are Gucci. First off, why didn't that do anything? Oh. Oh. I need two observers. Oh, yeah, now the observers are a thing. That's going to be easy, too. Man, I love observers. Mojang did a good choice with that one, adding a new mechanical block into the game recently. It's good. They need more clever stuff like that. So, how do I put those? So, if I did that, okay. The observing side is away from the character. So, if I did this. Oh. I like this. <laughs> oh! Hey, Brandon. Hello. This is going to be so dense. <laughs> this is probably more chorus plants than the old farm, actually. And it's in a smaller space. Really? Now, if I put a button here, just for testing purposes, at least... Perfect. Now for the chorus fruit. Or is it the flowers? Chorus flowers. I wonder if we even have enough for this. I'm sure we do. 
Uh, here we go. We have two stacks. Should be enough. This is going to get uh, pretty messy really quickly, by the way. It's cool. Because these grow like bamboo. Which is funny because bamboo is actually being implemented in the game as well. <laughs> That's probably going to need its own farm now that I think about it. Oh, wait. That'll be in the downstairs. That's right. Anthony, look! Coming. Ah. Bad. Look how fast it's growing. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Now I just got to hook up the redstone. Oh, this is a simple solution, actually. I didn't even think of this. I could just have two redstone. Why do I not have any more redstone? Oh, it's because I spent it on pistons. I should much my. I don't know why I can't be. Never can. Well, that's. That's a good look. I'll check it out as soon as I finish my uh, my little project. You should know. You should notice it immediately. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Just look around. That's all you can do. Okay, so this is gonna be a little weird, Anthony. But is it fine if the buttons are here? It's fine. Totally fine. Maybe if we had like a sign or something pointing to it. Oh my God! Look how fast it's growing. Oh, yeah, so we also need, like, a way to get up on top so that we can break the flowers. Hmm. Oh, you know what's cool, actually? Well, it, make it, like, towards the back of this platform. We don't have to make it towards the front. The way these are shaped makes it so much easier to, like, to break them because they're most likely going to just grow straight up because they can't go sideways most of the time because they're neighbors. Yeah, so you don't really need to... Oh, God, I'm trapped inside! <laughs> no, but we do need to be able to get on top. That's a definite with this kind of farm. Um, anyway, let's see what you did. What you did. You should kind of tell. Ooh, the strip bark? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like it. What is that noise? Is that like a washing machine? Yeah. I just hear this rhythmic blip, blip, blip. <laughs> What do you think about the ceiling? Should I do the same thing or not? Leave the actual bark. Yeah, leave the ceiling. It, it's a nice contrast, I think. Yeah, I like it. I think the floor might even... We might want to do a different material. Possibly. Yeah. We shall see. But yeah, that means um the course reform is done. What about uh, these two over here? Why? Actually, these three. Aquatic ocean-based farms. Yeah, this is going to be a bit more complicated because there's multiple farms. I'm going to try to knock out the easy ones first. If I you think have what I, to, you can extend these platforms to make them bigger if you want. Probably. I'm going to have to do that at some point. Maybe not with these two at least. The bone meal farms and the animal farms are going to be easy, I think. Also, we put the mobs in the wrong platform now that I look at it. I see that. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to do that now, aren't we? Yeah. Well, that's going to be... um. Hmm. All right, well, I think that's it for this episode, guys. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. And uh, look at that. We have a fully working um, new design for... A coarse fruit farm. Yep. Look at this freaking thing. It's already going nuts. <laughs> uh, I guess in the next episode, I'm going to make a scaffold so we can get up top for harvesting. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and then I'm going to start organizing where other farms are going. And I'll probably make one actual farm as well. Probably the crop-based farms because that'll be easy, right? Yeah. All right. Well, that's it. So we hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys later. Peace.